Hey guys, it's Nancy Trekker here. I'm off for another adventure. I'm in Bocawina National Park again. Um, this time I'm going to stay at Antelope Trail and I'm going to hike there and stay the night and hope I see a jaguar. Let's go. Hills are a little, a little tough to climb. Uh, I started out at 3:30 in the afternoon, and it's significantly more humid this time than when I did it earlier uh, last weekend. I started at 11 in the morning, and uh, I wasn't dripping with sweat like this. Uh, mind you, I am carrying my pack because I have to have my tent and everything with me, all my food. So not only is it a little warmer and more humid, but I'm carrying more things and it makes a difference. It's four o'clock right now, and according to my map, my All Trails navigational app, uh, I am, I just crested the first uh, hill, and I've just got one more small climb, uh, big elevation, but small in distance, so steep uh, to do. And then I got the waterfall, so I'm not far already. Let's go. I take it back. I I just uh, walked a little bit further. I don't know if this is Antelope Falls. Check this out. It was not a steep climb after the first uh, summit. It was not steep. This is my gym. It's my playground. about 20 after 4. I haven't reached the top of the waterfall yet. My map was right. The last part to get to the swimming hole and the viewpoint is pretty much straight up. There's hardly any switchbacks. You just gotta climb these ropes and it's a long way. But I ain't a quitter. I'm gonna get there. I get by a little help my friend.
moments like these, after I've climbed that mountain and find this, this is why I never regret doing these hikes. Never quit. Never quit. Okay. Make note. Oh, there's a little fire already started there for me. Thank you, trail angels. That's cool. A little bit of wood. I'm going to put my tent on the platform, I guess, uh, just to keep it off the ground. No ants. Maybe less ants. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Note to self, though, this tree stump points the direction where I go. That's the one. And it's kind of pointing to that trail. That's where I go. Out. I'm sure this one ends up to the waterfall too, but that's the way I came. I'm not, I don't know where it goes. I can explore tomorrow. First thing I'm going to do is spray myself down. I've got my, um, my scorpion spray that I made while I was in El Tuito, uh, Jalisco, no, El Tuito is in Cabo Carrientes in Mexico. Um, and it's just essential oils with some water. I'll put the link to that video down in the description so you can get that recipe for, from me. Um, but I'm just going to spray. So one thing I forgot to tell you. I uh, forgot my coffee. When I left the house, I was working during the day today and I got done around 3.30. And so I left kind of in a hurry, but my bag's always packed. And it doesn't take me long, but I forgot coffee. So the guy at the park entrance, it was a different guy. It wasn't Victor this time, um, but still a really friendly guy. He gave me all of his instant coffee. So I invited him up for coffee tomorrow morning. We'll see if he makes it. All right, I got my tent all set up. I'm gonna head down to the water for a swim and to watch the sunset. Not bad, eh? I found this rum for $27.50 Belizean. Well, I know where I'm spending my day tomorrow. So I thought I was um, filming myself when I was swimming, but the camera didn't record anything. So I'm going back there tomorrow. Uh, don't worry, I'm, oh, it's a beautiful spot. And I'm going to just check out, get a feel of the area tonight. And if I feel okay, um, I'll go down to the lookout. Because uh, it's a big, big climb. Um, and I'll go down to Little Hope tomorrow night and watch the sunset from there and then climb up in the dark. Um, but I slipped and fell tonight and uh, it's easily done. It's a steep, steep mountain and it's wet and muddy. I'm gonna try and light a fire. How fitting is this, guys? So I bought these matches in Mexico. Take a look. Jaguars. I parked in the Jaguar parking spot at Bocawina National Park here and I hope I see one from afar. The dry stuff catches but then it gets onto some wet stuff and it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't have enough power yet to dry it all out. I didn't bring a full tank. This of it. If not, I'm having fun. This is the end of my fuel. 
<laughs> I don't think I still have a fire, really. It's not really a fire. Just some smoldering sticks, that's it. At least I have some smoldering sticks. But I'll have to have cold soup. I just heard a big crack in the bush right behind me. But I don't have any way of seeing it without really getting out of my tent. Hey. It's about 6.30. You can hear the rain. It rained like every 20 minutes. I'm sure last night. <laughs> no wonder my fire won't go. So inside my tent, I was getting a little bit down. I'm surprised I wasn't getting a lot down. Look at this. This fly needs to be weighted somehow on the outside. So it comes away from the side walls. I'll figure that out.
my North Dakota son would be proud of me. I jumped in here and I'm all alone. Right call, uh, packing it up a little wet, and it's a heavy load. 